introduction. Before I start, special shout out to Solano County that I also represent. And of course, good morning to Yolo County. Sharon, are you here? Sharon? Good morning. Sacramento and San Joaquin. Delight, delighted to see you all here actually at this early um, hour. And it's a pretty cold day, which is kind of nice. Anyway, I want to say um, there are lots of reasons to support libraries, but the primary reason that I support libraries is that I was born and raised in Philadelphia. And anybody that comes out of Philadelphia knows that Ben Franklin and the free libraries has been started in Philadelphia. So there's absolutely no way that I could not be a supporter of free libraries or know how important free libraries are and how much they're used and valued and essential to democracy, frankly, in this country. So I'm a definite supporter. And particularly in times like these, I have heard from librarians how much increase in service is going on right now, how many people are at libraries. Uh, they are community centers. They are centers for so much uh, that is important to families and for those that are uh, on hard times. Families who are on tight budgets can save uh, money by checking out books instead of buying them, uh, attending lectures, uh, story times at local public libraries from the youngest to the oldest. Uh, libraries perform an incredible service and all free of charge. Let me talk about some particular things that are happening in my district. Uh, libraries like the Vacaville Public Library in my district are also helping those who are currently unemployed or newly unemployed. Uh, they're being helped to compete in this digital age by their use of the computer and internet access. Uh, there are workshops on how to use these tools in order to look for job openings, you find your resumes, research, look for jobs. Uh, there are important things that are going on. And in Solano County, there are other libraries that are offering workshops as well on timely topics such as foreclosure options, credit reports, and home buying. More than 70% of those who use the library computers are telling us that it is their primary source for connecting to the internet at a time when public and, public and private employers are requiring applicants to take tests and file employment forms online. So libraries are increasingly important uh, in general in our society, but certainly at times like this. And you all know that. I'm preaching to the choir, am I not? I want you to go in there and I want you to tell all your members that that's why libraries are even more important now than they were last year, when they were really important. You'll hear from Senator Corbett in a moment, but right now I would like, on behalf of National Library Week, on behalf of Senator Corbett and Senator Upshaw, and Assemblymember Torbertson to present to Barbara and Connie and Richard uh, the um, resolution that was introduced in the Senate and, of course, unanimously supported, declaring National Library Week April 12th to April 18th. Welcome to the Capitol and come on up. Today, carry that message. 